Is Earth a prison or a school? <laughs> With an open heart and with all humility, humility. I, in the beginning of my journey, I've had a, I made a video about this. How I went from what I call the light worker to the shadow worker, and then eventually it's kind of one of the same. Like you want to integrate both, but there I was just so much in that remembrance of the cosmic experience, the cosmic identity. The remembrance of like our origin and the divine data and light data but i was not integrated i was not i was i think i was just not ready you know and that's why the i feel it's about that maturity that spiritual maturity that comes with it um it's not like i was mindfully bypassing but i was just not ready it's just because I've, I've gone through a lot of trauma in my life. I've experienced a very traumatic childhood. Um, not to add like along with, you know, lineage of stuff and things like that. I just like, I just carry a lot of trauma in my body. And so it was just a lot to face, to really do that work and face that. And so... I was in that perspective of like, yes, earth is a school. And I, I do remember the calling. I remember, I remember choosing to come here. I remember, so I have those remembrances. I remember my past life. I remember why I came here. I remember these things. So I was a bit in that perspective, like, yes, earth is a school and we chose to come here and and that changed for me as I started doing more of that real foundational grounding work that actually earth, I also spoke about this in my last video. If you want to check that out where I described the divine blueprint, the divine grid versus the illusionary grid is that we are in a holographic prison. There is a prison. We're in a prison. We are. We're not in a. We're not in a school. Earth is not a school. It's actually a, a a farm. Really, it's an experiment. It's an experiment for those in control, and they harness and harvest uh, the energies of. They harvest souls, really. So that is a truth. That is happening. But it doesn't mean that it's only there. The story ends there. If the story ends there, then we are dismissing God. We are dismissing that we are divine. Which is... We are dismissing that there's awareness at all. We are dismissing that there was even an awakening. Which is impossible. We know deep down our God spark. And that is what the whole awakening is about. The true, real heart awakening is to reconnect to that divine spark and remember. Remember. But the other way is true as well, is that if you've just, you're just living in that, you're not living in reality. You're not living in reality. And eventually you're not fully alchemizing and transforming things into the light. So you're not really doing your divine work. Because the divine work is really that, is embodying consciousness. And I've been... I've just come across those other YouTube, that those YouTubers that just not gonna name because it's not the purpose. They're just coming full on, like attacking other YouTubers that are, you know, sharing about spirituality, sharing about ascension. And 
here, when I'm saying this, I'm not validating either or because I'm going to talk about it. Why? But they're playing this role that I am here so that you can see through those people's BS and those people's illusions that actually they're fake. They're not real and they're deceiving you. They're misleading you. And you can feel already, it could, could be, could be okay. Like, you know, they believe that they're speaking the truth. They're coming in with this energy of, we are all in a prison. This is a reptile world. Um, everything else that, you know, you're saying is just, you know, new agey and it's not real and it's fake and it's a deception. And I got the keys for you. I am here to free you from the matrix. I am here to release all those demons and those, you know, demonic entities in you and whatever. Those, yeah, those attachments and those entities. And then I, I question here because you're sitting and spending an entire, I don't know how much you're dedicating, but let's say an entire hour just shunning another human being and even criticizing not just not their work because every okay you know what you want to say and there's faultiness in their work okay fine but you're criticizing their physicality their person their personal things you're calling them names and your entire audience is feeding off of that and going full on shunning and embarrassing and criticizing and attacking another person. And yet you don't call that demonic. You don't, you don't think that by harnessing hate and attack and this kind of energy that that is okay. That is not demonic. That is not evil. That is not negative. And that's part of, and that's the thing that I'm exactly I'm talking about here is that the moment that we understand we're all in the prison, we have forgotten that we are God, and we're here to support one another. Remember that we are God in a prison. We are God in this deceptive world. Aren't we supposed to be supporting each other instead of saying, "Oh, look at you! Oh, look at you!" Oh, look at you. You're to blame. You're the fake one, but I'm the real one. That is why at the moment, the, the answer it literally is humility. If we can all just be humble to say that we all have shit, we all have our stuff. This is the world of shadow. We are, are you, are you fully aware of yourself? Or just because, you know, you release an entity here and there, you're aware of yourself. Or same with other people. Like if you're just, just because you've connected to some cosmic truth or cosmic intelligence, that makes you entitled to know all the answers and know better than anybody else. I think this is a real problem that nobody is talking about. This is a real problem that nobody's talking about. If we understand that we all have our roles, you have your role. Everybody has their gifts and their roles. And everything is for its time and space. It is. But can we be aware of the shadow? Because that person that is just spending time attacking another person in the name of that they have it all figured out and they want to free people from the matrix... They want to help people get out of, you know, being, you know, deceived by spiritual leaders. Do it. You can do it, but do it in a way that is, where's your shadow? Can you look into your shadow that maybe there's a hurt or a pain that you haven't integrated and there's some anger that you haven't integrated. So you're just fueling it. Maybe some insecurity there or won't. I don't know. But can you look into your shadow? We are in a world of illusion versus consciousness. Awareness. Illusion can literally infiltrate anything. Anything. Literally anything. Anything you want to think about. Religion, shamanism, family, your parents, your kids. 
anything, any modality, it can infiltrate anything. For what sense? By not being aware. So being allured into the illusion of what is not conscious, what is not aware, what is the shadow. So that is the world we live in. So instead, if we can see that that is the real enemy, that is the real battle that we're in, how different would the life be? How much more compassion would we have? Compassion to ourselves and others. Can we meet ourselves there? Instead of looking at each other and pointing fingers at each other. That is, that is the real task here, is for us to hold each other's hands. Hold each other's hands. Energetically, we're not really here to like push people out or pull them. We're here to be the example of awareness and consciousness. And by being that, we just allow other people to be that as well. That is it. Are you conscious or unconscious? Is your ego or shadow running the show? Or is it you, the light of your awareness, leading you? Which one is it? I think that I want to clarify here that actually there's nothing wrong with releasing entities. Actually, on the contrary, it's something that I do as well as part of my energy work. But not because you do it, it gives you the right to attack people. And also the story doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. And that is why I feel that there's something that is not completing in us in the spiritual matrix and us, like all of us on the spiritual path. There's something that is not clicking. And I think that's where we're heading towards. And I, I feel for me, I know that integration is the key. It's like, it's like a bridge, fully bridging the etheric and the physical, being real and yet bringing the divine, our divine gifts. I feel that is the click. For me, for example, my energy work, right in the beginning of my, in my path, when I first started my awakening, I learned, I took lessons and got certified, you know, with like hypnotherapy and then did some coaching and, um, also the shamanic path of like clearings and clearing energies and things like that. But I was never able to share it with others. I felt it was incomplete for me. Like I didn't feel it was in full resonance. So I never really did it. And then um, a few years later, I received the blueprint of the energy work, the quantum energy work that I do. And I realized that it was very holistic it was very all those missing pieces that I was noticing or those missing keys I felt were all of a sudden filled because in the quantum energy work I do there is a potential release of entities or attachments there is a clearing of energies if it's necessary but it doesn't stop there because I realized that those things without understanding the roots of why those things were there to start with, without understanding what patterns are actually linked to those, let's say, attachments or those cords or those whatever it is, then there's not really going to be any shift. There has to be a shift when there's uh, rewriting of the imprint by going through the root. What is that root? What what was the root of that um, that pattern? What was that root that actually brought all of that in? And then if that is also just there and is not filled with integration, then also, then how am I changing the pattern? Because with energy work, yeah, you can change it on the energetic level. But that is also incomplete if the person receiving 
the experience of that energy shift is not knowing how to change, to understand, to translate, and have awareness, integrated awareness within themselves of what they can do to actually change that hard-coded in their physical reality. And then I'm going to throw in here something as well of like, also, that is for me incomplete if it's not also paralleled and supported with supporting the physical body. And that was a big, massive one for me because I was all, all is energy, all is energy, everything's energy. And um, it was fine with me, but I really got grounded in that way with my stepson because my stepson is on the spectrum and we tried everything including energy and I was like come on like energy should work consciousness should work where it does support tried everything but it's not enough it was there was never a change like that because there was a havoc happening in the physical body due to that um due to the present matrix and the things that they're feeding us and they've created to cause that damage in our body. So that is happening. And for that, it requires a technology or something to support the physical body heal and be able to open up to higher states of awareness. Because if it's just chaos and density and havoc and there's damage on a cellular level in the body, you can do whatever you want. So, and that is why, if you want to check out like the video for um, regarding redox, and that's why I'm super passionate about redox, because that was the technology that helped him massively, but also helped myself and helped so many people out there. And I'm really passionate about. So if you want to experience that expansion of awareness, maybe you're noticing there's something you're struggling with. And you're wanting to shine light on a specific shadow. You can work with me one-on-one -on -one online. So you can book an online session with me. Or you can also join one of my upcoming retreats. The next one is going to be in Peru. So you either way, you can check the website below. And um, also, if you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to also like, share, and subscribe if you did resonate with this message then you can join my tribe, my etheric tribe over here on YouTube. And if not, you can also let it go. It's all okay. But if you can, that would really support me to do more and more of what I'm doing here. Okay, much love.